Go after what you want. What's up, Taurus? Welcome to Profound Effects Era. I'm Brandon Lickey. Right now, I'll be doing a reading for all Taurans out there. This will be for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of that sign. And if that falls into your charts, this reading will be for you. And this will be a timeless reading, so whenever you watch this, it's going to be the right time for you to watch it. I'm also going to get you an added message from the money and the law of attraction cards. And we're going to get right into your reading. All the uh, Taurans out there are having a great evening. You have bulls and the cows. Okay, the first card that I got for you is Ace of Cups. You're probably having a pretty good night. Uh, Ace of Cups, you got new uh, new love coming in, new new passion, new romance. Um, this is the chalice of uh, bright beginnings, uh, starting a love affair. So this is very exciting. This is this is something you're going to be pouring with passion. Um, you're going to be ready to burst, and uh, this is something that you can barely hold back. This is, this is a lot of passion I'm about to explode out of you um, all at once. And, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is somebody that has very, uh, very good intentions. You know, we used to see about the little, uh, uh, lily, lilies down here with the little lotus flowers on them. Yeah, you two both have pure intentions. This is somebody that wants to take their time. You have the Page of Pentacles here. So this is, uh, the card of the, uh, the, the student. The card of the scholar here. So this person wants to learn more about you. They see a lot of growth with you. They see you as very physically attractive, very sexy. So this person uh, finds you um, very sexy. They're very turned on by you. Um, these waters here. This could be their uh, their panties overflowing right now. Just thinking about you. Um, what what the experience would be like if they were physically being touched by you. Um, so yeah. Very good. You have the uh, page of rocks coming out here. So what did I tell you? This person is filled with fire and desire. And they're very turned on by you. Um, this person may be uh, saying some uh, some sexy things they want to do to you. Some different positions they want to throw you in, and they want to put their you know bury their face between your thighs, or um, you know throw throw your legs behind your head, throw one this way, throw one that way. Fold you in half and just you know, give you give you this rod, you know, stuff this rod all the way inside you, you know, so that you can feel that rod, and so they can they can overflow with this pleasure. So, yeah, what did I say? You got the Queen of Pentacles here, um, holding the uh, the Rabbit sign of fertility. So this person is very fertile. Um, so um, be uh, aware of that. Um, if you are going to be getting physical with this person. But this person does see something long term with you. This is a very stable partner. Uh, the uh, Queen of uh, Pentacles is uh, typically like a, a wifey, uh, someone who um, is, is willing to take care of you because she sees value in you. This person uh, sees the value in what they do. Um, and the Queen of Pentacles gets satisfaction out of long term gains. So she looks for a stable partner. Yeah, and there you have the uh, Page of uh, Pentacles again. So, yeah, this person does see a lot of growth with you. physically touched by you. Yeah, you got the Queen of Rods coming up here. So this person wants a lot of your time and attention. Uh, the uh, Queen of uh, Rods is the uh, attention uh, slut of the tarot. Um, she's somebody who uh, is very magnetic, so she gets a lot of attention, she expects a lot of attention, and uh, she's somebody with multiple suitors. Yeah, it's just telling you to be patient with this connection here. You have the hangman here, and uh, it's telling you, you may be in an uncomfortable position right now, hanging here, hanging out to dry, um, but you are going to get past this. Uh, and stay relaxed. So you see the hangman here, he's uh, very relaxed in his suspended state. So he's not, he knows he's not going anywhere anytime soon. He's not worried about it. Um, even if this connection isn't getting off the ground anytime soon, um, know that it will. Um, this is something that's going to take a lot of time and patience on your end. Yeah. Um, waiting for the right moment.
waiting for the right moment. Yeah, and then charging in and saying what you had to say um, without holding anything back. That's what the um, the Knight of Swords is all about. He's very bold, and he says he, he says what he had to say. He's very charismatic, very bold. Um, he doesn't hold anything back. And uh, that's exactly how you're going to have to be. You're going to you're gonna have to, uh, you know, come full force. You're going to have to come, uh, come full force when you uh, say what you have to say. Use your charm as well. The, the Knight of Swords is very charming. He avoids a lot of uh, issues in his relationships by using his charm. He avoids scrapes in battle by using his charm. This person very, uh, finds you very charming, very magnetic. The Queen of Rods is very charming as well. This person very, finds you very charming, very sexy. Um, somebody who uh, is very honest. Um, and somebody who uh, can manifest what they want. They see you as somebody who's very powerful, very strong. I see him uh, showing off his body here. This person uh, loves, loves the way you're built. They love your body. Whether you're male or female, they love your figure. Um, they love it. Um, but yeah, they, uh, this person sees you as somebody that can manifest what you want. Right now, you have the magician working in your favor, so it's just telling you um, that you have uh, a lot of communication coming in. This is a card that's ruled by Mercury. Uh, plan of communication. And I'm getting as above, so below. So what you put out there will come back to you. Is what I get. Whatever, whatever you put out there is coming back to you now. Is what I get. Yeah. So if you put love and support out there, that's coming back to you. Somebody realizes that you're a good listener. I, I get the uh, Queen of Cups. She's a very good listener, and uh, she is somebody who um, will uh, be. Um, uh, she'll pay attention to your issues. She'll she'll listen to them, and then she'll um, you know uh, respond accordingly. Yeah, and this is somebody who just got out of a uh, relationship. This person you're dealing with, they just walked away from somebody. So keep that in mind as well. That's probably why you have to be patient with this person and wait because they, they just walked, uh, just got out of the relationship. They may tell you this as well. They may tell you they just got out of a, a serious relationship. Or they just turned their back on a lot of options for you. I get that as well. Uh, this person sees you as somebody who can, who can manifest what you want. You can always, yeah, the, um, the magician has the ability to uh, manifest new ideas. They always create new ideas. They see you as very creative, very intelligent. Somebody who goes after what you want. And they like that about you. They like all these qualities, so they're turning their back on other options for you. You need to turn your back on other options with this person. This is the Empress here. The Empress is somebody that there's a lot of growth around. She's the mother of the tarot, so um, everything she gives birth to grows. And uh, it doesn't really show it on this card, but she get, you got the, the wheat fields uh, underneath her right here, and then you got the forest behind her um, to show that there's uh, all this growth around the Empress. So this is a, this is a relationship that's going to grow for you. you know, turning your back on these other options and going after this Empress. That's what you need to do here, is what I'm getting. And uh, that's going to be your reading. Make sure you add a message from the money, the law of attraction cards. skill to direct my thoughts. I am developing the skill to direct my thoughts and to direct this light so that you can see the card. We'll read the message for you on the back. It says, the most valuable skill or talent that you could ever develop is that of directing your thought.
toward what you want. And what did I say? You're turning away from what you don't want, directing your thought toward what you do want. Uh -huh. To be adept at quickly evaluating all situations and then quickly coming to the conclusion of what you most want. And then giving your undivided attention to that. There is a tremendous skill in deliberately directing your own thoughts that will yield results that cannot be compared with results that can that mere actions can provide. And that is your reading, Taurus. I hope you enjoy that. I know I enjoy doing it for you. If it does resonate with you, make sure you hit that like button and allow other Taurans out there to be able to view these messages. That's what it's going to do for them and the whole Taurus family. So make sure you do it for them. And also make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss your reading next time these signs come out. You don't want to do that, but you do want to help us grow here at Profound Effect Tarot by donating. You can donate to my Cash App, PayPal, or my Venmo, and all that information will be included in that description box below this video, so you can do that down there. And I want to thank you so much for doing that down there. God bless you, and you all have a great evening.